flip her over. Cutting the lid. Halloween is coming up. How many of you have made a jack-o'-lantern? Well, not yet. Other years, maybe. You're right. It's kind of early. You make it now, it's going to be like moldy and disgusting by the end, right? Anybody ever made a jack-o'-lantern? Yeah? Awesome. Awesome. So, when you made the lid, did you, did you get to pull out all the goo? I kind of like how the squishy feels in my head. Like, you know. Did you, when you did the lid, I, that's, I digress a little bit there. How did you cut it? Do you remember? The trick? What is it? At an angle. That's the key. If you cut the lid in, you know, vertically, then you're like, oh, and the lid's down there inside, right? And you got to stick your hand in the muck and get it out. If you don't want to do that, you got to cut it at an angle. So I'm going to take something and trace it. I got some baby food jars, some little things that you can use so I get a nice edge. Where's that other one I got? Here, this guy. This is a nice thin little agave nectar one. This one's a little big for this. This one looks better to me. All right, so I'm going to mark it first, make it straight, make sure it's lining up. Needle or, you know, some little thin edge tool works nicely. So I mark it. Looks okay. And then I'm going to make a mark that goes across okay. to the side there. It's going to go across here. Now, I'm not going to leave that because it's not a pretty mark. It just sort of sits there. But that mark shows me where the lid's going to go together because until I have some design that shows me how it fits, it never is going to fit exactly all the way around. So I want to make sure I get that there so I know how it's going to fit together. All right. So now I'm going to use my Fetley knife. I want a clean Fetley knife, straight one. You've got some bendy ones. Don't use those to cut your lids because the thin part will work really nicely to make a nice clean edge. Remember, you don't saw at it one smooth line. i got to go to an angle, just like Julia told me, so that it doesn't fall through. So I'm going to come around and cut this lid at the nice angle. Come on. Oh, oh, lifting. Voila! Wow, that got thin on the bottom. That's a little too thin. But you can kind of see how that lid is at an angle. So that edge there is angled. And now I line up my line. I can put it back on there. I know how it's going to fit and it doesn't fall in. Be very careful with this. If you're working on the sides of your pot, lifting this up, the lid could fall off. And if you do this, where you take the lid off, and I see students like, okay, little lid, and they put it over here for safekeeping, and they're working on their project, and it's time to clean up, and they go, dun, 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 dun. <sighs> don't do that to your lid. <sighs> it happens all the time. This lid fits perfectly because it matches where you cut. If you take this out and you have to make a new one, do you think you're ever going to take another random piece of clay and make it fit as perfectly? No, because what does this do as it's drying? It shrinks, and as it's shrinking, it's shrinking and matching the shrink and the cut of this piece. Where's my edge? There we go. So a new one, you'll have to do something a little different to make it work. You can, so if you squish your lid or it falls off, there's always someone who's like, oh, look at that, that's such a nice design. Oh. So if that happens to you, we'll fix it. It's just gonna be a little different lid. So try to hang on to that lid. All right, now, I need to make a handle for my lid that relates to this whole design, right? So, oh, oh, I have a handle here. I'm always thinking about how it comes back together. So if I'm gonna make a little lid, for that handle, I'm sorry, a little handle for my lid, that's what I meant to say. You know what I meant, right? right. I'm going to, I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to make two little handles like I just did. See how it goes. So I'm going to work a little water into it so I can bend it a lot. And this is one option. Obviously you can relate a lot of different ways. This one over here, the little cubes kind of related. I'm going to roll up this edge like I did on the other one. Maybe I make roll this. See, it's like a tiny handle. And I'm going to put it here so that it lines up with this. I always got to look over the top and make sure it lines up. And then if I were keeping this, we're getting low on time, so I'm just going to keep going. I would score and slip this very carefully, but I'm just going to smoosh this part in for right now. So you guys can see how it works. So, oh, I've thought about how this design, I want to match 
this design. So again, I'm thinking about the overall unification of the piece and making them fit together. All right, so now, how are we doing? Woo, I gotta go fast. We're on to the spout. Now this one, if you gotta make five spouts, I don't care, because you will have learned spouts then. But typically, kind of like the handle, make a few. Don't worry about it, see which one you like. Where's the soft clay? Here's my soft clay. I'm gonna give myself a nice clean surface here. And I'm going to throw 